Hello, my beautiful Vibe Tribers. Welcome to your Mystic Affirmations for Wednesday, April the 19th of 2023. Many blessings to you all. Remember, this is our collective energy using the law of attraction, the law of divine compensation, and our ability to focus our energy to create our best possible life now with our intention and our ability to, to be in that manifestation mode. If you'd like to have a personal reading, remember, this is collective. It's for all sun, moon, and rising signs. So please visit my website, royalmystic.com. You can book your reading and I'll be more than happy to assist you once it's scheduled. So let's move right into the energy of creation. And we're going to stand in the energy of the Seven of Wands, which means not backing down, standing for what you mean and mean what you stand for. This is where you don't settle for less than you deserve and you don't let other people talk you out of your dream. People like to sow seeds of fear only because they think they're doing something to help you. Some people are doing it out of some, some frenemy stuff and some people are doing it out of jealousy. Don't allow yourself to succumb to their fear thoughts because you have a divine order. You have your own wheelhouse of what you know is right and allow yourself to be guided in your energy, not through someone else. Now we, and not even me, this is only suggestions and helping you to try to, to, uh, focus. And I'm not trying to tell you how to do it. I'm just telling you what's available. So we have the Knight of Cups, which is the energy of being in a place where an uh, authentic offer is being made, whether it's in love or in business and, and finance, this is a true offer being extended to you from this Knight of Cups. So let's see what else we have. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine, pure, white light, divine spirit. We have the energy of the seven of pentacles, which is the, the fruit ripening on the vine. This is something you've sown the seed for and have been nurturing and watering it to its point now that you're about to have the, the harvest come through. So it's a very good alignment when we move into that energy. Divine spirit, spirit guides, gods and goddesses. Thank you so much for being present here to allow all sun, moon and rising signs to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome your blessed energy. Thank you so much, Divine. You're always welcome and very appreciated. So we have our three cards out. Allow yourself to, to know what you're focused on and follow your instincts and the signs and symbols that appear. And boy, is this a good one for that. We have the star card, which is alignment with your life's purpose and the yes from the universe for your soul's desire. This is a wish being granted. It is the Aquarius Major Arcana. It's the energy of ascension. And it's a multi-pointed Merkaba. So it is the kind of an expansion of the standard Merkaba that you look at. So it's a beautiful energy. We have gratitude as our top card here. And this is always the best way to proceed, especially when we're in the manifesting ma stage and, and we're getting our hearts, our soul's desire, pardon me, granted, right? Allowing ourselves to have the big fat yes and being grateful for that, being the energy of already believing and receiving the gratitude for what you're trying to manifest. So gratitude first creates I am grateful for and appreciate all the abundance I have in my life today. That's a perfect statement. It allows you to just be open to the energy of abundance, no matter what it is, and be in the energy of already claiming it. I am grateful for and appreciate all the abundance I have in my in my life today. And it's also, it um, rings true with the same thought of, I am continuously provided Everything I need is always given. Everything everything I need is being provided for me, right? And being in that energy of receiving it is the gratitude of being grateful. That you've already gotten it and we have opportunity. Hallelujah. 
I am always ready to take advantage of opportunities presented to me. That means not to push away every single thing as it shows up. You have to fully vet things and let yourself kind of sit in the energy to see if that's your move or not. If that's your, if it vibes with you and if it rings true in your heart. Sometimes, and I'll say a lot of times because I have... Uh, registered something logically and been like, oh, no, no, that's a, but then I have to sit in the energy and go, well, you know what? My heart's kind of guiding me toward doing it because I feel like it showed up for these reasons, right? So you have to be able to like ask yourself for signs and then kind of sit in the energy and let yourself marinate and see what it thinks. Don't, don't take the first knee jerk reaction. That's all I'm saying. Remain positive. Absolutely. When we're in a place and all hell's breaking loose and we feel like we're at the bottom of the barrel and nothing can get any worse, we have to stand in the energy of knowing this is only temporary. If you can't say anything else about positive that's happening, just be able to know this too shall pass. This is only temporary because I can tell you I've been through many a thing that would felt like it was going to level me felt like it was going to do me in and I managed to overcome it through the thought of this is not permanent things will change I'm moving toward my best possible outcome it's 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 one second away any second it's going to break through and that's where you have to be mentally you're a lot stronger mentally than you give yourself credit for if you can muster through something and get your mind right you can do anything Gaia, this is the earth energy that helps to, you know, give us a place to exist. The frequency of Gaia reminds us that we are infinitely connected to one another just as we are to our great mother and to the universe that birthed us all. So it is the life force energy, right? And being in the energy of that understands that it is a constant creative resource. Mother Gaia energy or Gaia itself is the creation and we are creators. Believe it or not. Positive change. Well, I'm liking the way this is turning out. Dare to be different. When you are criticized, remember that you will never please everyone. I can promise you that's the truth. Many brilliant and gifted individuals were not fully appreciated or understood in their own lifetime. Yet, it is, yet it is often that they have sown the seeds of change. So just by their energy, and this is a true, true statement about the consciousness, the, the collective consciousness. When you change your energy and vibration to positive, you actually feed the rest of the everyone connected that positive energy, which also amplifies and moves them to the positive. I'm just saying we're all part of this big shindig inspiration a wave of inspiration and a stream of beautiful ideas are about to enter your aura it is important that you trust your intuition at this time pay attention to unusual thoughts that come to your mind and do not discount your imagination many wonderful ideas which have served humanity will init were initially scoffed at or ridiculed we, your guardian angels, will help you discover ways to apply your ideas and manifest new realities for your life. And so it is. We will take that gladly. Beautiful energy. Inspiration is always a blessing because it does. It kind of picks you up and carries you into what you're creating. I was telling you again, stand your ground. Don't let anyone discourage you off your path. Just stand your ground. The, so now we're into the moment where the, you've done all the steps and you're at the very last piece here. This means the breakthrough is imminent. You're right there at the cusp of the breakthrough. So stand firm and be patient while you're in this place of waiting. This means your number is next. You're about to be called into action. So you know that 10 of rods is the energy of release as you move forward. The struggle is over. This is also a release energy. This the Scorpio Major Arcana of the Death card. This is releasing you from the cycle of trauma, all stagnant energy, all old toxic energy. It's all being cleared out. This is the cosmic garbage man coming through to take out the trash and to clean up the joint on his way out. So it'll look like 
brand new, fresh, clean, beautiful energy, a whole new canvas to paint the story of your life onto. Just remember, the story you're telling must be the one you want to receive, not the thing you don't. Do not focus on the lack of what's there. Do not focus on not being able to see it or not knowing what where it's coming from. Just say it as though you've already gotten it. And you don't have to say it out loud if you don't want to in front of people. In your heart, keep that energy going and keep focused. Because it is the universe that is knocking on the door here. And it's connected to source. And it's bringing you all of this positive opportunity energy. So the, the time is now. Many blessings to you all. Have a beautiful day. I'll see you again tomorrow. Love, light, peace, happiness, joy, abundance, and divine prosperity. I love you guys. Namaste.